for Pete's sake, have a cigar. Tonight that I would light up the back rat. I've heard these are sweeter and I have a soft spot in my heart for sweet cigars since that was one of the first cigars I ever had that I really truly liked. It was an Isla del Sol by Drew Estate. Um, it starts off very sweet and then it transitions more into a regular cigar. It's a great cigar for new cigar lovers and ones that want to um, start with sweet and kind of be transitioned over into the, the dark side of cigars so to speak. So anyway I figured tonight I would try back rat and uh, talk to you guys a little bit about two main reasons why I love cigar smoking. First off, the variety. There are thousands and thousands of choices when it comes to cigars and sweet, you know, regular, um, everything in between, ways to light it, whether it be cedar spills. Um, I have my like Bradley the Burner, matches, you name it, you can do it. I also love the fact that you have the option to retrohale or just blow your smoke out and I find that I get two completely different sets of flavors and smells um, when I do both and that is just awesome. It's just such a variety and I love all of it. And I also like that it's specific to each person. Every person has different taste buds. Every person eats different foods. It's all what you like. It's like if you got into model cars and you said red was the only right color to paint that car. Simply not true. I mean, it's just a matter of preference. People like different things. So that's why I love cigar smoking. And then also it is the community. Um, I feel like when you go to a lounge or you're just having a cigar with your neighbor, it's like you've known them for 10 years, even though it's the first time you've ever met them. It's almost like being drunk in a bar, I guess. Um, except it's a lot more pleasurable than that because you actually get to interact with someone, not just stumble around and be crazy. So, um, those are the two main reasons why I love cigar smoking. And uh, so, let's light up this back rat the old fashioned way and see how it is. Something very relaxing about lighting with a cedar spill. It takes time, patience, you have to have the right angle on this thing. It doesn't get too hot. I just love smelling the cedar spills when you get them out of the package. It just smells like Spanish cedar. It just makes you salivate for a cigar. I usually use one to toast to actually light it and get it going. Nothing wrong with that, lit beautifully, old fashioned or new, more than one way to skin a cat, that's for sure. And I love the aroma after you put the uh, cedar spill out, you can still smell the cedar and it's really delicious. definitely more kidding about the sweetness on the background. It has a natural sweetness though because the Ila del Sol has a sweetened cap to it and so it's just uh, it takes over everything. And this thing is, it feels like it's in the tobacco. It's 
Yeah, it definitely is. It has a little bit of a sweetened cap, I think. But not nearly as much as the Ela del Sol. It has a little bit of spice thrown in there. There's nothing much to this. It's just a nice, good, mild, sweet, good cigar. So, um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and comment below. Tell me what you think. And also, if you're commenting below, I'd love to hear your stories on how you guys got into cigar smoking and what your favorite things about cigar smoking are. Like I said, those are my main two. Uh, just the variety that it brings, the brothership that it brings. Um, and just being able to tear down walls and really talk to people and get heart to heart with them. There's just something about that that, that strikes a chord with every cigar smoker. And that's why I love doing it. And uh, I mean, I'll smoke alone, like I'm, I'm smoking alone right now, but kind of not because I'm with you guys. Um, there's just something about smoking with someone that's special. So let me know what you think. See ya. Donnie, this is not a cigarette.